بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam about the importance of salat, the importance of prayer and that the Muslim should always strive to protect his or her prayer and safeguarding the salat in its prescribed times Likewise, for the men, they should strive their best to try to get in the masjid. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and facilitate us being of those whom he is pleased with and who pray in a manner that pleases him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Listen to this beautiful hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And its beauty lies in its simplicity and it's clarification that the prayer is an obligation upon the Muslim. This is what distinguishes a Muslim from a non-Muslim. This is what distinguishes Ahl Iman from Ahl Kufr. This is what distinguishes the believer from the disbeliever. So this is imperative that we pay attention, that we strive our best, and we advise our brothers and sisters who have left the prayer. On Buraidah radiallahu ta'ala anhu an al-Nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Al-Ahda al-Ladhi baynana wa baynahum al-Salat Faman tarakaha faqad kafa Ruahu tirmidhi wa qala hadithun hasanu sahih In this hadith of Buraida radiallahu ta'ala an, he said that uh, narrated on the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said the ahd, the pact which is between us and them, or which distinguishes us from them, is the prayer. So whoever leaves it has disbelieved. And this was narrated or collect, reported in Tirmidhi. And he said that it was a authentic or Hassan Sahih. He declared it as an authentic Hadith. And in another narration, a narration on the Salaf, on a Tabi'i, عن عبد الله بن شقيق التابعي المتفق على جلالته رحمه الله تعالى قال كان أصحاب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يرون شيء من الأعمال تركه كفر غير الصلاة رواه ترمذي في كتاب الإيمان بإسناد صحيح. so this is also an authentic hadith or authentic narration on the salaf on Abdullah ibn Shaqiq, who was a tabi'i, meaning he had met a companion of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and taken ilm on a companion. And he, it is agreed upon on his status, his righteousness, his great esteemed status. And may Allah have mercy upon him. And he said, that the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anam ajma'een did not see anything from the deeds that if you leave it it be, is an act of disbelief other than the salat and this was reported in Tirmidhi in the book of Iman with an authentic chain of narrators. What we learn from this hadith and this athar of the salaf, the first thing we learn is tahdir shadeed min ida'at salat fartarkaha min a'mal al-kufr hatta inna ba'd al-ulama yaqul inna tark al-salat kaslan kafrun 
kufrun akbar makhraj al millah so the first thing we benefit from these narrations is the severe warning or stern warning of leaving the prayer and being careless with regards to the prayer and leaving it is from the acts of disbelief even some of the ulama mention and say that the one who leaves the prayer out of laziness is a disbeliever and has done the major disbelief which takes him out of the fold of Islam. The second benefit of Habatifillah, Al-Farq Bain al-Muslim wa ghayrahu huwa amr al-salat fahiya alamat fariqa bain ahl al-iman wa ahl al-kufran. The second benefit we gain of Habatifillah is what distinguishes a believer and other than him is the prayer and that it is a sign or symbol which divides Ahli Iman, the people of Iman or the people of faith and the people of disbelief or the people of Kufr. Another benefit we gain from these narrations is that the companions radiallahu ta'ala of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to see that the one who left the prayer as having done disbelief that leaving prayer as an act of disbelief so this is a severe and stern warning an admonishment to you and I and the believers everywhere and those who associate with Islam to strive their utmost to keep that tie with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that communication with Allah Azza wa Jal which is the prayer and so this is a reminder first and foremost for myself to strive to have khushur and to make sure that I guard the prayer and strive to be in the masjid as much as possible. And this is a warning and an admonishment and an invitation to my brothers and sisters in Islam to also do the same and pay attention to their prayer. Because this is your wasila between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the, the rope and the means that establishes your relationship with your Lord. This is your time to communicate with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it has been legislated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we pray five times a day and we establish that relationship with our Lord Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who have ilm al nafiyah wa ruskin tayyiba wa amal al and bless us to be of those who safeguard the prayer and keep that relationship strong with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because when there are no other relationships that have meaning it will remain that the relationship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most important and is the one that's everlasting and may Allah azza wa jal bless us to love him and bless us to be loved by him wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam